Today we're talking about uh, race nutrition and just kind of one really quick strategy that you can use uh, to really improve your race performance. Um, so I find a lot of times what people will kind of do when they get out for a race is, uh, say if you're racing a marathon, we'll use that as our example for today. Uh, if you're racing a marathon, uh, kind of the standard that a lot of people will do is you start the race, you run until you start to feel hungry, and then like kind of you hit that last uh, last few miles and you have one, uh, maybe two, maybe three gels kind of in the last chunk of the race. I find that's a really common strategy that a lot of people use at kind of marathon type distances. Uh, and we'll kind of talk about one of the big downfalls of that. So I've got an, another lovely graph for you. Um, so if we look at this, this is race distance. So this is our start line. This is our finish line. And then we've got our fuel tank within the body. So um, for a race of this distance, a little bit of the fuel is coming from fat and a lot of it's going to come from the glycogen stores within our body. So um, stored carbohydrate within the muscle and within our liver. So uh, the red line is kind of your traditional fueling strategy with two gels thrown in at the end of the race. Um, and this other one is kind of the slow trickle um, that I like to call it. So essentially what happens here is you start the race. If you don't take in any fuel, fuel starts to go down, starts to go down, starts to go down. Then you get a bump from that gel. Then it goes down again. You get a bump from that gel. And then it goes back down again towards the finish line. So a lot of times what happens here is because you've kind of used up a lot of that fuel in the tank in the beginning part of the race, if something goes wrong here, if, uh, if it's hot and you have a tr trouble taking in the gel, if you drop your gel, if you're out there for longer than you expected, you don't have a lot of wiggle room here towards the end of the race. You're always really close to that line of being out of fuel. And you're just kind of, you're getting pretty low on energy. You take that bump, you get a nice sugar high, you feel really good. You start to kind of taper off and not feel as great again. Then you take that next gel, you get that sugar rush, you start to feel good, and then you start to taper off again. Versus a different fueling strategy that tends to work a lot better is fuel early and fuel often. So instead of a couple of hits spaced out that gives you enough time to start to crash, you take a smaller amount and spread it out. So kind of the, the general that I like to shoot for, um, start with trying something around 250 calories an hour. Um, a lot of people can handle a fair bit more than that. Uh, and then you can you don't have to take that in one big chunk. You can spread it out maybe every 15 minutes. You're taking like 50, 60, 70 calories, something like that. So if, you, uh, if you're using like gummies or chews, anything like that, those are really easy things to space out. Uh, a gel is a little harder because you got to take it kind of all in one shot. It's hard to carry a half open gel packet with you for 15 minutes until you want to take a bit more. Um, so you can kind of play with fueling strategies that way. But basically, if you're taking all these little hits as time goes, you're still dipping into your fuel stores, you're still dropping off, but you're able to maintain for a lot longer. So if all of a sudden here, um, something happens with our stomach, it's maybe not feeling that good because we've been taking in maybe a little bit too much, or if it's a hot day, something like that, if we all of a sudden can't fuel for a little bit, energy levels are going to drop a bit and then maybe we can start fueling again. But we've still got a lot of wiggle room where we're not kind of putting everything on the line of being able to time these perfectly and get them in at the right time. And you're never having these big ups and big downs. It's just this slow trickle of fuel that's always coming in and keeping energy levels high for the duration of the race. So one quick fueling strategy that you can try. This is an awesome thing to play with on some of your longer runs as well. Um, always try stuff out before race day. Make sure it works for you. Try a bunch of different stuff. Some things work great for some people and not for others. So always make sure you try it out before race day.